Hello everyone and welcome to Backwoods Tech. In living the prepared lifestyle, we have found ways to kind of bump up our food supplies. I hunt, we fish, uh, we garden, things of that nature. The boat that we have is a, an 86 model Fisher, it's like a 14 foot. And we like that boat because it has a small you know, footprint when I'm towing it. And the motor on it is a 1968 Evinrude Fastwind. It's been a great motor. Uh, you know, we've had this boat since like 2010. And you know, routine maintenance, things of that nature to keep it running. The last time we were out in it, the motor was spitting and sputtering this, that, and the other. And taking the cover off, we found out that the plastic piece on the fuel pump had cracked. So, you know, I had kind of jerry rig it with some Permatex. So in lieu of making something today, I'm gonna go through, remove the carburetor, clean it out, see if it, you know, kind of semi rebuild it, so to speak. I'm gonna check my gaskets, this, that, and the other, and see if I do need to go ahead and do a full rebuild on it. And then I'm gonna take and replace, you know, the fuel pump with a new one and test it out, make sure it runs, you know, good and that kind of thing. And you should not be afraid to tackle a project like this, like rebuilding a carburetor on an old, you know, Evan Rue motor, your lawnmower or whatever, because no matter what you do to it, it can be fixed. You know, like a lot of things in life, you know, things can get messed up, but they can be fixed. So let's start working on this outboard engine. The outboard that I'm working on today is a 1968 fast wind. It's a 18 horsepower motor. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the idle mixture. And like I said, it just kind of slides off. Then I'm gonna remove the air breather or the filter screen, whichever one you wanna call it. Now that I've got that out of the way, I'm just gonna remove this one little linkage right here. Get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna undo the two nuts that are holding the carburetor on. And like I said, they're kind of in a kind of in a wonky way here. So you kind of do one side and do the other. Then you gotta slide the carburetor forward a little bit in order to get the nuts off. There's not much clearance in here. And I always drop this nut on this side for some reason. Haha, <laughs> got it out. So there is our Evan Root carburetor. Before I take this apart, I'm gonna mark the enrichment needle right here so that I know where to put it back to. To rebuild these old carburetors, you really just need a couple of simple hand tools. When I say I'm rebuilding this, really I'm just gonna go through and clean it out and things of that nature and check the gaskets to see if I do need to uh, give it a full rebuild. But for right now, I'm just gonna take and go through and clean it up, clean it out, get rid of some of the gunk that's in it. That's the bowl of the carburetor. There's the fuel inlet right there. Then you have your float which holds your seat or needle, which allows fuel to fill up into the bowl. And there is a little brass rod that runs through here and you can just push it out. And then your float and your needle or seat comes out. This hole right here where the seat was is where your fuel comes out through your carburetor. Because it looks so good in here and the gaskets look good, I'm just gonna take and degrease it and clean it up, put it back together, and then move on to the fuel pump. And there's no need to be afraid to attempt something like this because it can always be put back together. I mean, whether you do it, somebody shows you how to do it, what have you, it can be fixed, even if you mess it up pretty bad. As in putting it back together is just the reverse of how you took it apart. Now 
Like I said, there's no need to super torque these down. I'm just trying to get them to where they're fairly snug and it doesn't crush the gasket or cause the gasket to leak. Now we'll just put on the screen or breather, whichever one you want to call it. So now we're all buttoned up and ready to move on to the fuel pump. Now that I've got my carburetor rebuilt, I'm gonna move around here and I'm gonna replace this fuel pump. Uh, it's kind of seen its better days. And this is another little quick fix. It unscrews with just a couple of bolts. As you can see, there's a crack right here and the last time we went out in this boat, I had taken you some permatex to kind of fill that in uh, just to keep it running because we were a pretty far distance away from the boat launch. But I said it held together and I'm not going to throw this away. I'm actually going to keep it. This is my replacement fuel pump and it's a little bit wider than the factory one, but it should work. So bolt it on and crank her up and see how she runs. So there it is, easy fix. Put these hoses back on. Now let's carry it back here to the test stand and crank it up and see how she does. All right, we've got it mounted up in our test stand. In other words, a 55 gallon drum filled with water. test of the outboard engine like I said it seems like it runs pretty good. Now we load up to go fishing this weekend. See y'all next time.